Hi guys, it's me Turtle again. And for this video, I want to open up a good question for you guys. For all of you who have gone to college or are going to college right now, whenever your teacher or instructor or TA or whatever, the person in charge of your class put you into groups of your own of your own choosing. Do you always end up with the same people? Do you always end up with, with your friends and or your family? You know what what about the people that are not in that friend group? The love dopers, you know. Do you ever get to interact with those people, or do, are they all over on the other side of the room, or in the back of the room, so you, you don't care about them? I, I had one such, one such class. <laughs> in my in my years at Stanford University, I had to take a language class. And being that I'm Italian, and I already got my own foot in the door of that language, I figured we will take an Italian language. So yay for that. So, I, I decided to take the cl class, and I took it in my, in my senior year, m among many other things. And with the president of a club on campus, stack students taking aim at challenges, and, and other, other class, classes involved with that. So, I was taking my playing class. I, I would do well for me with the language, but I think I would get a like a bonnet because it was spoken. I understood a little bit of it from my home. Uh, for my home life, you know, my parents always speak to my grandparents in Italian, and I heard that the professor, his name was Professor Giuseppe Costa. Now, how on earth could you get any more Italian than that name? I mean, I know the name Giuseppe is Joseph in Italian. That's me all over. And I know of a Costa in my in my area where I live, so um she used to be my aide very very nicely too. She was one of the good ones. But anyway, this guy was very, very kind. And I believe my memory served correctly was over twenty years ago, so just be with me on this. But he reminded me a lot of um, George Clooney. I think it, I think it was, I think it told that himself. But anyway, I, I wasn't trying to write any points or anything. I was just sit, tell it like it is, like I do with some of the people I know from the gym. He you look like um, an SV Rob. Oh, you look like that Vin Diesel. Or, oh, you look like Taylor Lautner or whatever the case. Oh, you look like Taylor Swift. Oh, well, you're much prettier than she is. You know, that, that type of thing. But then, uh, I brought up the whole class grouping thing. Because this, this is before the era of um, online classes. An online video, video um, conferencing and whatnot. So, so you either had to be in class physically, or you took online classes where you didn't uh, interact with anybody. with just like handing in papers and that's it, or type out an assignment. So the, if if anything, when I went to school. In the, in the, um, I graduated in 2007 from undergraduate, 2009 from 
for graduate school. So it was very possible that back then it was just beginning the whole video conferencing thing that you would not know and love today. But anyway, look what look what I said. Because my scooter could only fit through a certain uh, pathways in, in the classroom, but well, that could be really tight for me. So, I usually have to stay in the back of the class with, with, uh, with, uh, with people that were left out of the main group of the site, put that way. And it was kind of unfair for those people. And uh, you know, well, well, all the popular kids, you know, got together in like a group of like say three or four people or five people to converse, to do their assignments, to do the projects together in a tiny class and all that. I, I, w I would love in back with with a very very special. Her name, her name was Kana. Now, I can use her real name because I'm sure that she probably doesn't even remember me or any, anything involved with the class either. Or if she's still alive, I hope she's still alive because when, when I had Kana in the class with me, I was the, um, about maybe 20 years old at that, that point. So she was, she was obviously older than me. Like, um, she was a, um, let's say about 50 years old at that point, probably 60. So n now she probably would have like 70 or 80 years old. So I, I really hope that she's fine and dandy. But judging from the fact that I'm pretty sure she was Japanese, she should be she should be fine. Plus I don't know her last name. So that, so that was nice. <clears throat> now um no, the the Japanese are known for living long and, pro and prospering and they're also known for um, being um, especially uh, healthy and um, we could take it I hope she uh, lives long and prosperous. You know, I had to put that in there. Feels back. So yeah, she, she was a, a lot to work with. I mean, the, like the outcast of the group, of the group well, along with me, being in a wheelchair, or actually a scooter, now, Kana had a, had a very heavy Japanese accent, and she was very, very nice about it. You know, she was, she was obviously there to learn her Italian language, and she was there to uh, have fun with it, because Many people can, you know, can uh, be um, as well for um, lazy about the language requirement. Like, oh, I'm Italian. You know, I know a little bit of language, but I'm not, I'm not fluent, fluent in it. So I wasn't consider, considering it lazy. Hell, oh, I still have my index cards for learning Italian. 
and uh, I still have my um, I think it's uh, my textbook somewhere right here. And anyway, I got my father for that if I if I really if I really want to. If I ever want to study Italian again, but uh, you know, it could, it could be easy for, for her just to say, "Screw it, I'm going, I'm going to Japanese where I want." I'm taking my language requirement in there, and then I'll be done with it. And that would be that. So, I applaud when, when, when older people who go into college, go into college and, uh, you know, do their best to learn, like, one or two classes in a semester or whatever. I, I didn't really know that much about her. Besides the fact that she was not nice and she was trying her best to win it. And the fact that nobody, it seemed like nobody else gave, gave a shit about her. No one else gave, gave it two shits about her because she was foreign, yet she had a very thick accent. She was obviously older than people, older than the majority of the class. No, I, I, I'm guilty of that too, but I, I looked, I looked young, she, she looked up, she looked noticeably older, and, yeah, but I, I, I really, I really care about that, or, or therefore would learn something new, and she would be, she would be the perfect partner for that. Um, I know what you're thinking, you know, an age of woman and all that, all of them all that, you know, what, why didn't you move in on her? Well, first of all, there was the age gap. You know, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit of a traditionalist, like where I have to be a, a little bit older or the same age as my, as my, per, as my partner. But also, um, <coughs> I'm sure, I'm sure she probably had a husband or a boyfriend at the very least. So I, I didn't want to go into that, you know. When you get to be a certain age, you get, get, get married to people. Or have a significant other, whatever, whatever the case is. But I, 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 didn't go, I didn't go into that. But it was nice. It was like a real funny that, you know, most Asian women, when they're younger, they, they do this, the peace out a lot. They peace out my brothers and sisters and that kind of thing. She did that. I, I don't know, that's kind of me, a meme or a joke or something. Uh, they, they do that, that no matter what age they're at. Also, for the same matter, uh, she, uh, she did that thing where she did, um, yeah, where she did, like, a happy face, like, on, on the side, like that. I really can't, I really can't do it justice, but, um, you know what I'm talking about, when that uh, age women are uh, happy and they, uh, and they do that, they keep little smile on the side. You can mostly see it, you see it most when uh, Kid Kubi does it on her channel. Uh, I'll put the link for that in the description below. But I gotta admit though, even though Kana did look a little older, she still looked good for, the, for her age. I didn't ask what the age was because I'm. Um, it's very impolite to ask a woman her age. And, um, and I didn't learn that the hard way, I just learned that. Because I have manners. And Paul, I didn't want to get a five uh, finger slob across the face. Then the fact that I'm sure we couldn't understand each other. Because because I had a very hard to understand vocabulary back then. 
But it was like the theorem that you also had with doing with learning I attained. So um, yeah. I have no idea what you got for a final grade of the on the class. I think my grade was a B or B minus. I didn't get a perfect mark on it. And I didn't get a, a perfect grade on it. I wish I, I, wish I did though, but I got a good, good enough on it. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, I was almost curious about whether I should look this person up or not. Because, why not? She you friendly to me, I was friendly to her, uh, you know, all that stuff was nice and chewy and all that. Plus, I, I loved to see her smile. She was very pleasant, very perky, and she was pretty much the only person that I could talk to in, in that class and do the, the stuff with. She reminded me a lot of, um, oh god, um, I think it was, um, Puffy, Puffy, um, uh, Ami from, uh, from the group Puffy Ami Ami, but she was, um, <laughs> obviously a little older than that, but, um, the one I can remember, she had kind of a, like a, a pop scent to her clothing. So she wasn't dressed like, like an old lady, she was dressed like more like a teen, more like an older teenager. Which is kind of weird, but still pretty funny. Be fun to, to deal with. You know, I'd rather have, I'd rather be dealing with that than someone dealing with rumors and uh, corsets and whatever, whatnot. So, yeah, it should, it should be fun. I look forward to talking to other people like, like that, regardless of the age, because Japanese people are fun to be around. I'm on the old blood people for some reason. I, I, I'm one of those type of guys who like hanging out with, with, old, with older people. I've always had that fascination, even when I was in, in high school. Probably because nobody, nobody of my own age would really give me the time of day, except one girl. But she moved away when, when we hit the uh, teen. Uh, 12 or 13 years old. So, uh, yeah. I enjoy, I enjoy com com company. I enjoy the fact that she was always perky, always willing to learn something new. Uh, and uh, always like like this other girl that I knew from my, uh, from my Music of the World class, where she was obviously older and she was uh she was interested in learning that for her college credits and whatnot. Which I, I will admit it is kinda of weird to see an older person in class but they they um how do you put this? They um they want one more because Whenever you see an older person in class like that, you know for damn sure that they are paying out of their pocket. Or their, their spouse's pocket or whatever the case is. They're not getting any loans or, or they're not getting government help for anything. You know, that they're, they're paying for it for themselves. That they want to learn something. So they they're going to be out of pocket for whatever services and classes they might have. You know, so they, they, 
proof that they want it. They want it more. And I think Connor actually did. They want that. They want to do that. I don't know if you went for a full degree or whatnot. But if I ever do get in touch with her, uh, I will be happy to um to uh ask her that. Maybe not in Japanese, but um yeah, I might, I might run like we'll translate it into it. Although the, the, that translator tends to uh, be a bit buggy at times, so I might have to, I might have to um, talk to my friend about it and you know, make sure there's no uh, problems with it. And you know, with, with Swimbook, I'm sure that she was probably a uh, person that lived on Long Island with her spouse or whatever. Because I'm pretty sure that she wasn't one of People that was a foreign exchange student get because of their age. You know, they, they don't do that past a certain age, the age limit. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, I, would, I would like to meet many older Asian people, particularly women, <laughs> because. They, they, they seem like they're having much fun. In fact, I know this one woman in my gym. I can't remember her name offhand, but I know that she's from Nagoya, Japan. Now, I don't know if that would be up my itinerary for, go, for when I go to Japan. Oops, it, it's too much. But anyway, um, she is cool. She's cool. Um, I, I, um, God, I'm trying to think of her name now. Um, I think it begins with a K, too. It's, I think it might be Kim, Kimmy. Yeah, I'll go with Kimmy. But, um, that, that's obviously not her name, but I'm just saying that that's her. That's why I call it. But she, she seems more, more down with English. I kind of did. <clears throat> so yeah, um, it was fun to know what when she, when I didn't know her. You know, I hope, I hope, I really hope nothing bad happened to her. And she seemed like a lot of fun. I, I look forward cool to getting up there. It, it, that's the impossible. You know, for all I know, she could be. She could not want to talk to me. She could not want to. She might not even remember me, or she might not even not give a damn about talking to me, like I did with my, my Chinese professor of economics. She didn't want to. She, I tried to email her, but not, I got nothing. So yeah, um, I, I like, I like Connor. She was, she was cool, she was groovy. Even though know, I'm fairly certain she wouldn't know what that means. <laughs> what groovy means. Same with half the people at my, at my gym. They probably don't even know what that means. So yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for watching my video on my discussion of Kana and the fact that she was the only one in my classroom that was willing to um, help me out with my stu my studies and my homework and my assignments and whatnot. Yeah, she, she was pretty, pretty nice. She was very she was pretty too. I will, I will give her that. She was pretty. And she was trying hard in her, in her class. Like, I, said, I don't know how good she was in the, in the classroom or whatever, but we were all, we all very nice to meet her. Very delightful. So, 
anyway. I give her my personal happy face to your approval. And more like this, she wouldn't even remember, she wouldn't even recognize me because nowadays I'm bigger and bit and buffer. Back then I was a stick figure like, like this. And my voice was very unstable. So she probably wouldn't even understand me now. But if she does call me, I don't know what the Japanese equivalent to that would be, but you know, I think it is something I always tell you about women that, um, Asian women that usually, uh, check me or outright hate me or, or disgusted by me and figure me out. Well, so it's one who I kind of consider a friend who is nice to me. I will like you back. We, we had a good little friendship going in the classroom. I have a necessity because we were the leftovers of the class. And that they were formed grouped among my own friends. Well, I, I had no other friends in, in that classroom besides her and the professor. Maybe he was an adjunct, one or two, but anyway, we, we all passed the class. I'm pretty sure she passed the class. And by the way, I don't know this for, for um, a fact, but I'm pretty sure that learning Italian, learning Italian language, can't be easy for someone that is Japanese. I know that it was a challenge for um for English speakers to learn that language, but for someone that is born and raised with with Japanese with their with their different syntax, different vocabulary system, different alphabet. Or we would call an alphabet. I would imagine that it'd be th that much harder for them to learn. Uh, that's why many Japanese, Chinese, Korean people they stick to their own language skill for for uh, that requirement in college. Um, I'm assuming, but those that uh, are raised in America here. I used to English and stuff, and yeah, both uh, bilingual. They probably have an easy, an easy time with learning a, a triple language, becoming a triple threat in that regard. I'm pretty sure that she wasn't born in here, was raised in America because of her, because of her heavy accent, which is. Okay, by my book. We need more diversity. But I just think it'd be that it was that much harder for her. Poor thing. Plus, I don't want to say, I don't want to make it just, it should have been cold, but I'm going to say that on average it's harder for an older person to learn a new language than it's for a younger person. So, my hat's off to you, Miss Kana, for passing, for passing my language, my my woman home countries. I, I'm trying to learn the language too, in Japanese. Yeah, I, I give her a happy face of approval. Maybe, maybe if I get kind of where maybe I can now get some help with learn my Japanese.
me. If you like what you see here, and you want to watch me, excuse me, and you want to see more of my channel, more of my videos and such, you can always contact me, you can always like, comment, and share my video, or you can subscribe to my channel. And, uh, <clears throat> if you want, you can always, uh, you know, he's, uh, get me on my, um, if you want, if you want to leave any more, um, you can also subscribe to my channel, uh, again, if you want, you can, uh, reach me on my, uh, you can only contact me for future content ideas at 631-707-3707 for contacting me on my phone or text me. Also, my Twitter or X if you prefer is at P. Milton Pro. Also, you can reach me at my, <coughs> my email at jj's viewing channel at gmail.com. So, I speak all English, English language learners, all team language learners, all people who are interested in international studies and I would like to uh, <coughs> extend my personal gratitude for being such a determined person as Miss Kana and I will hope to meet the other people like that who are interested in, in the Italian language I'll give you a point if you can figure out where I got that from ways tie in so peace out my brothers and sisters you have fun I'll see you in the next video Aloha to all the girls and guides in internet land see ya